Hello, so I'm uh, John Fleck. I work on the Omnipath in uh, Pennsylvania for Intel. Uh, Todd couldn't make it to this conference, so I'm stepping in to talk about the topics that he was going to talk about. So a little background on how Omnipath came about and where it came from. Uh, Intel acquired QLogic and uh, part of Cray, uh, and that's the core team that's been developing Omnipath. We've been trying to develop innovative features, new QoS, and, and there'll be a lot more discussions about some of these things uh, to bring this to the community. And uh, speaking of community, we're, we're open sourcing our code, uh, our software, working with other organizations to expand our, our reach. And um, finally, we want to create this ecosystem so that everyone can work together. So, as Ira did, I attended a Linux Foundation conference last week, and uh, the, the topic, the, the focus of that conference was working with open source, and it was really enlightening. Uh, there was a presentation by one of the people who talked about the three phases of uh, open sourcing a project. Um, the first phase is uh, define the project, get your code working, host it somewhere, um, and the second phase is uh, figure out how you're going to package this and deliver it to customers and then start working with the customers to see what they want, um, how, do you want it, how do they want to change it and, and make sure that these people are able to use the, the code. And then the third phase is, is what I'm calling proliferation um, and that is the community is formed, everyone's using your code, and then they start contributing back, and it's, it's a sharing ecosystem where everyone works together. So, so that's the end. We're, we're, these phases do not come through uh, one at a time. They kind of, they're all in parallel uh, with different amounts of, of interaction in each. So we're, we're, we've, we're in the first phase, starting to engage in the second phase. And, and, and today I'm here to expand the word and say, hey, how can we, how can we work with the community? Um, what can we do to improve? And how can we collaborate with other people in this area? So a little more background. Uh, the approach that we took for open sourcing um, is we've, we've tried to uh, leverage what exists currently in the InfiniBand stack and uh, fit into that with our Omnipath fabric. Um, we've we've um, integrated uh, PSM, uh, which was already present. We created a new version. Um, and we pushed all our software to kernel.org. And we've also pushed our software, open source software, to GitHub so that everyone can access it. And we've also, the final step is we've worked with Red Hat and SUSE to get into the distros, the rail distro and the Celeste distro. Uh, that's our main delivery source, and, and we think that that's the best way to broadcast our software. So uh, kind of a graphical visualization of this. We took our open source software, pushed it to GitHub, um, pushed it to get to kernel.org, pushed it to the Linux. We have some firmware which works, uh, is required for our code, for our drivers to work. And um, then we're working with the Red Hat and the SUSE to get this out. So this is a, a picture of the ecosystem. Uh, it's very close to the InfiniBand ecosystem. Um, in this diagram, the dark blue pieces are elements which we have created. The light blue are uh, elements which we've enhanced to support the OmniPath fabric. And uh, the white pieces are uh, things we've not modified. Um, and, and I'd like to highlight here the lib IB verbs, lib RDA, lib RDMA CM. And uh, I didn't put it on this slide, but uh, lib IB mad, we have not modified. We've worked with what's there. Um, so I'll go through each of these pieces right now. Uh, we do have a new fabric manager. Uh, which is um, uh, similar to the, the SM, open SM, which is out there, but we've extended it to, uh, with enhancements. We've extended the true scale version uh, for enhancements for Omnipath. Uh, it has five pieces, an SM, an SA, a PM, a PA, and an FE. 
The FE is a what we call a fabric executive, and that allows uh, secure SSH to get into the the manager to get statistics and things like that. Um, and this is the uh, the repo which we're we're hosting that code. Uh, we also put a set of user space tools uh, which allow you to bring up your fabric and debug it when there's problems. Um, not that there will be problems. Um, we, uh, <laughs> we've created uh, RPM packages in this, um, this tool segment uh, which are specific for the management node. Um, so they have more privileges and then we have a set of tools which go on the compute nodes. Um, and we also have a package, an RPM package, for address resolution to enhance um, IBACM and, and passing pack or path records around the network. We also have an MPI benchmarks package, RPM, uh, and that allows us to um, uh, do fabric verification, uh, make sure your fabric's working, and we leverage Open MPI and, and in Vapich to do things like that. So a little more details about this, um, um, the packages that are that are found in this tools, um, and and Jim Wright's going to talk about this more in depth. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview of it. Uh, we have the standard tools which go on the uh, compute nodes, which are SMA PMA query tools, and then we have a what we call the Fast Fabric RPM, which is uh, more centered on the management node, and they have some tools such as OPA Top and OPA Report, which give you a more in-depth knowledge of what's going on in the fabric. And then the address resolution, which I highlighted before, um, is a uh, we've created a we have a plugin for IBACM, uh, and it also has a library where we can share path record data between IBACM and our PSM app or library. Sorry. Uh, and then the MPI apps is a, for benchmarking and, and fabric verification. And again, the, the two GitHub repos where we're hosting it are, are found in that location. Uh, PSM2, uh, again, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail here. Ravi Murdy is going to be talking about that in more detail uh, later today. Uh, we're hosting... Um, uh, that code on GitHub as well. It's found in this location, and um, uh, it's similar to uh, the PSM that we use for TrueScale. Uh, allows for a kernel bypass and a higher message passing uh, protocol. We also have a, a Verbs plugin, and as I said, we didn't modify the, the lib IB Verbs. This is just a plugin which most vendors have to talk to their hardware. Um, uh, and this is the location where it's hosted. Uh, we also have a, a GUI. It's a Java-based application, which gives you um, monitoring capability of your fabric and a graphical interface. It um, has some powerful features. We're, we're looking to extend some of its capabilities in the future, um, but it's a graphical rather than text-based interface, uh, so it's helpful, very helpful. We provide a Windows and a Linux package for these, and the, uh, uh, the software is hosted on this GitHub location. So some of the other pieces which we've enhanced for, for OmniPath, we've worked with the community to get our changes accepted. Uh, for OpenMPI, all our changes were accepted. They're in the 1.10.2 release of that code. Uh, lib IBUMAD, we had some changes for RMPP messaging. Um, that's been accepted uh, already upstream quite a while ago, actually. In Vapage 2, we heard from Dr. Panda, um, will be supported in the 2.2 RC1 release. So that will have everything that's needed to run on OmniPath. Uh, we also had some customers who were interested in OpenShmem and GasNet. Uh, now we pushed our changes into GasNet in the 1.260 release, so we're fully supported there. IBACM. So Ira talked about this yesterday. 
uh, and it really has to do with how we use path records and not just hard coding your your lids and path records into your applications so we've wanted to uh, use IBACM to distribute that path record uh, knowledge across the fabric um, so we we worked with Sean and the maintainer of IBACM to create a plug-in architecture uh, and uh, we, we've We've supplied one plugin. We're, we're working with it. There's a lot more things that we want to do with it. Um, and then another aspect of this is uh, allowing the ULPs to access those path records so they don't have to go out to the, uh, to the SA every time. Uh, so we, we worked with the, communi the kernel community to create a Netlink interface from the kernel ULPs up to the IBACM uh, daemon so that those elements can, can benefit from the path record cache in IBACM. Uh, I mentioned the, the Linux firmware. We've, there's four firmware pieces which are required by the driver, uh, the HFI driver as it comes up. Um, we pushed all that code to uh, the Linux firmware uh, repo. Uh, ah, and then some, uh, some core patches in the RDMA stack. We did this quite a while ago. It was accepted in the 4.2 kernel. Uh, 2K MAD support, Ira touched on this, allowing for larger management messages to uh, go down to the nodes so there's less um, uh, traffic and chatter on the fabric. Um, we also, I mentioned the, um, we put some, some enhancements into IP over IB to enhance scalability. Uh, since the fabric sizes are starting to increase, we want to be able to have a way to uh, scale to these large sizes. That's what we've been focusing on. Um, and I mentioned the, uh, the Netlink interface, the IBACM, so these ULPs can also take advantage of IBACM to get those path records. Those changes were accepted in the 4.3 kernel. Uh, another aspect, we've recently just added the uh, um, RDMA VT, and Danny will be giving a discussion about that later today with more of the details. Um, but it was at a high level, it was taking some of the software from QIB, which was replicated in the HFI driver, and creating a common, almost kernel library, but it's a kernel module, um, that they can share that code and it's not duplicated. Um, so we've had our, our changes uh, accepted into the 4.6 kernel for this and uh, many of the other fixes for uh, the HFI driver. Uh, so here's a quick summary of the GitHub repos, which I mentioned before, concise place to, to access all this information. We've also set up a mailing list um, so that people can communicate with most of us on the, uh, in the OmniPath project. It's listed here. Feel free to join and comment and contribute. That's what we're looking for. Uh, for kernel changes, we're sticking with the Linux RDMA. Uh, mailing list and my disclaimers and that's all I have. Any questions? All right. Thank you. <laughs>